Well, it's time for today's edition of Coach's Corner, and today we are talking about the great returners in women's tennis with Martina and Lindsay. We spent a lot of time talking about the great servers. Is it possible we don't spend enough time talking about the returners? Yeah, the return is the second most important shot in tennis, the serve being number one. And there's two different types of returners. There's the aggressive returner, like Petra Kvitova, takes returns early cuts off the angle and is able to hit winners and with her backhand she's able to take it cross and also up the line makes her so dangerous but there's also defensive returners like Kerber. How about Kerber? I mean we, we always marvel at how low she gets in her position on court Martina. Well that's not the case on the return of serve. She She's far behind the baseline but what she does really well is get the ball deep and backs up her opponent and she's got the highest percentage of breaks in the women's game, where she breaks her opponents serve more than anybody else. Consistency, she gets more balls into play, and she gets them deep and gets you, neutralizes the point, basically. Yeah, she does a nice job of reading the serve, giving herself time, and really compensating for being so deep in the court. But I have to say the best returner in the women's game in the last 15, gosh, maybe 20 years, Serena Williams. And that is how intimidating she is and her intent. She's always looking to attack the opponent's second serve, moves well inside the baseline, and accelerates and she takes all the time away from the server look where she makes contact with this forehand there is no chance for a server to have a moment to try and defend against that look where she makes contact couple feet inside the baseline good balance good body control there didn't jerk her head and was able to hit that forehand and then you compare their contact points kerber gives herself more time about eight Seven, eight feet behind the baseline, Serena and Kvitova with more intent to be right on that baseline with the first, and then a big difference with the second serves. Kvitova and Serena well inside the baseline to really make their opponents feel the pressure of where they make contact. And Serena never let her foot off the gas when Venus was serving last night. We saw that great isolated video of, of Serena returning, and it reminds me as a club player that there was a very pronounced split step in her return. It's not just on your volleys when you take a split step, right? Split step moving forward a little bit, not too much, so that you have you can still go sideways or go, go away from the ball. But the biggest thing on the return of serve is the momentum needs to be going forward. Not not two feet, but just, a, just an inch against the ball so that you get your body behind the ball, and that's what enables you to control the return and get it deep. On a, a higher bouncing court like the one here at the U.S. Open this year, which is higher bouncing than it's been in the past, what, what's your kind of de facto recommendation when the ball starts to get up on a kick. Do you like to see a player step in and take it before it rises up too far, or do you like to have them step back and sort of take the air out of that serve? Depends on the player, depends on the intent of the player, but the biggest thing is for a returner to be flexible. You, If you're a good returner, you're comfortable moving in, taking balls early. You're also comfortable moving back. If you're mistiming balls, no problem. I'm going to back up for a game or two, a couple feet, make a few, and then move back in. That's actually something last night Venus did not do, and I know she's very comfortable on that baseline, but when you're not making returns in games and you're Serena's out serving, give her a different look. Try and give yourself some more time, a different rhythm, something, and that's, that's not what you want to do. Maybe second serves, but first serves, you want to be flexible in your contact point. When you were playing, who was the opponent that you had the hardest time getting something free against with your serve against their return? Uh, Monica Sellis, uh, because she had uh, such a great return on both sides. And it was hard to jam her because she's right here anyway. So it was really hard to find an opening against her. And I had to really think, OK, where do I want to go pattern-wise? Because with Steffi, OK, it's, it's backhand. With Chris, it's forehand. But with Monica, I'm like, I really have to think about this one. Uh, you mentioned the term flexibility. I wanted to ask you about that in another way, because you and I have called a bunch of matches where we've watched players have an opponent, have a favorite serve, and they keep going to that serve. And the returner is very stubborn in terms of not moving over and taking that serve away. Yeah. Do players need to be more flexible in that regard? I think so. I, I think sometimes it, it can be strategy. You have to be aware when you go out onto a court and you're a returner, what is your opponent's favorite serve? What are they most likely to hit in crunch time? And what has been successful so far in a match? You have to keep track of that as a match goes on. Sometimes we don't see players do that. You end up seeing coaches like kind of, you know, <laughs> urge them to Who go to one side that? or the other. No, exactly. But that's what makes a good returner. You have instinct but you're also able to read an opponent's serve. All right, so we want to know who you think the best servers are in the women's game. LD, who are your top three? Well, I went with the ones we just showed. I think Serena Williams is one of the best returners of all time. I love the Monica Sellis call, though, from Martina. Kerber puts a lot of pressure on her opponents by making so many returns. And Kvitova, when she's on, 
very tough to hold your serve against her. All right, that's one, two, three. Serena, Kerber, Kvitova, Martina. Well, I, I give Gabriel and Muguruza a, a nod there because she also gets inside the court and she looks to move forward and really makes you feel uncomfortable. Yelena Ostapenko, when she's on, she's one of the best returners, but then she also can miss a lot. When she gets the ball in play, extremely dangerous. All right, there you have it. The best returners in the game, according to Martina and Lindsay. That's Coach's Corner for today. It'll be back tomorrow.